Well, this is a big story on Tobacco Road. Um, I don't know if you've seen this. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of controversy that's happening. And it started with my man, Dickie V, who comes out and he tweets, the profanity at the UNC basketball versus Duke men's basketball game was a disgrace. The F Coach K chants were classless. No place for that. I know UNC is better than that. It was pathetic. And Dean Smith would never have tolerated it. Wait, what? He really tweeted this? He tweeted this. Yes. Yes. And Are so, you sure? Yes. Dickie V tweeted this. <laughs> and, and it got me so upset. And it, pu- it got me so upset that I'm here at this, at this juncture in time where I have to drop a little bit of my shtick, a little bit of my, you know, facade that I have here and my hatred for Coach K and be real about it because Coach K is the king of the mountain. And the reason that he's the king of the mountain is because he helped facilitate the greatest rivalry that I or anybody in college basketball could have ever witnessed. And it all started with disrespect from Co- a lot of people. They're like, they read this and like these UNC fans, how classless. I thought it was a Carolina way. All right, let's work this thing back. Carolina way was invented by Dean Smith and Dean Smith ran the ACC. And then this little rat man <laughs> came to, to Durham and it was, and was challenging him and was disrespecting him. And was, I mean, classless is the, the perfect word for it. But you know what he did on the other side of that and why I'm so upset about this current moment? He took the lessons that he learned both in victory and in defeat, competing with the, the greatest leader, I think, of men there ever was in Dean Smith. And he took those lessons and he used them to become a better man, a better leader, uh, uh, someone that I look at when I see Coach K today, and this is, I'm, I'm being honest, I see parts of Dean Smith that he has taken, and I've told you this. I mean, I appreciate that he has done that, and iron sharpens iron. He made Duke the program that Carolina was when I was a kid. Like, when I look at Duke basketball now, that was what Dean Smith had. <laughs> that is, there is nothing but respect. But the fact that a bunch of 18-year-old college students said F Coach K and it has become (laughs) this whole thing is mind-boggling to me. I don't I don't endorse that. I don't think that they should have chanted that. I had people in the gym who said they didn't even hear that. So the fact that it's gotten blown up this this by and large is shocking. But in reality, Coach K is the king of the mountain. This is his world. We're living in it. Yeah. Michael Jordan is the goat of playing the game. He is the goat of coaching the game. We know that. But they lost this game. And I think it started with the bad karma of all that. The cheat sheet that came out, the things that they had. The cheat sheet, the Reese Beekman note that they had on the the Cameron Crazies. uh, They they have all the bios of the guys, which is basically they just go on their social media and then pull stuff from that and then just put it into a bullet point. And it's the dumbest thing that exists in college basketball. Duke's not alone in this. I don't want to pile on the Cameron Crazies. Basically, every student section does this. All of them suck. All of them are stupid. All of them need to stop immediately if you have any self-respect whatsoever but most students don't most college kids don't that's what we know that's what we know about college. the whole point that's the whole point yeah be stupid but the uh the reese beefman bio there's a bullet point that says was referred to as the point god in high school he's currently averaging 7.9 points per game this nickname has aged poorly what that was the note that was the note that is literally see when i was younger these cheat sheets one they would never get leaked but if the ones that you did see came out they would be I mean, you'd be impressed, right? Like, I'm not impressed with that. Like, that's not impressive. It's like well, a the- five minute Google. <laughs> it used to be deep dives. Like, they would know everything. Yeah. Like, it used to be really reckless. So this is the, I, let's let's talk about these things because th- this is this is a bygone. Th- this is a, a a holdover of a, a bygone era of college basketball. Yes. Like, this is a tradition that they used to do in the '80s and the '90s, and like, like this is a, this is something this is that pre-internet is, has somehow lasted the test of time that like as i said duke is not the only student section that makes these but they all they're terrible and i think as you said the internet has has changed this whole deal where like the 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 sheets used to be like the only way you could come you the only way you could find this information is if you know people who know people yeah and if you knew one of the players girlfriend's names and you said the player's girlfriend name to a player it would it would mess them up oh yeah how do you know how do you know yeah how do you know who i'm dating (laughs) yeah how 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 could you possibly know that now of course, how do we not know? It's, it's right there in front of our face. Like, it's, so if you're going on social media to find all your dirt on people, it's not interesting. It's not fun. It's not funny. I don't understand why this continues, other than like, 
and like you said, it students. used to be like yeah. this this mind game where you're like wait a second what like you you know my high school principal's name when i was were, at michigan, you knew that i got suspended from high school like, when we what when we played you know at michigan state my freshman year when i was at ohio state one of the the, the dudes in the zone just goes hey titus how's courtney and i turned around and i was like what the f- because i i you know i we'd broken up <laughs> <laughs> you're like wait a second <laughs> yeah. it's like, it's like, yeah. and like no, and like no, the natural uh, but like the natural no, human react you're like what? i was like how, how does this man know this yeah I'm a walk on like why would he you know like th- th- there was actually and guess what something. you're guess what you're not thinking about not not to say like it was you but like if you're a player and someone you're on the free throw line and someone says hey titus how's courtney immediately you're like thinking about courtney and you missed a shot and you're like what is yes, it? yes. Uh, like they got but me. if you would have said hey titus and then just read a tweet of mine from like six months ago yeah which is what these sheets are now it's like yeah. like i mean for god's sakes they're going through and just like look at look at what armand franklin tweeted and you're like sick <laughs> okay sick are you gonna read that to him your show his tweet <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't understand what this is one of them uh uh Milicic, they they just straight up said he's from Croatia. Bro, bro is literally from Croatia, and then it's a cry, which like honestly seems a little problematic to me. Yeah, that's Crying xenophobic. Laughing. Yeah, that's xenophobic. Yeah, so, so canceled. <laughs> Get the crazies out of here. These are just bad. These like, are really you're, bad. You're just like, <laughs> like there's nothing on there that would rattle anybody. Like if someone if someone chanted at at you, hey Mark, you only score six point six a game. But you play twenty. Oh minutes, my God, like, Malachi what? Poindexter. So they 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 point out his last name is Poindexter, which is you know fair play, I guess. But you know, like this guy's heard this his whole life, so like I don't know. Poindexter calling out Poindexter. Uh, but the the final bullet point on his says he knows how to juggle, so he can join the circus when basketball doesn't work out. Oh wait, he plays for UVA, so he's already there. <laughs> Like who wrote my that? PSA to, to to all the student sections is just stop doing these. Like yeah. there's you, you can't win. Like even and 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 truth be told, like half your student section, probably more than half your student section, thinks this is lame as hell too. Like the kid, like the kids that are showing up that are, you know, mm-hmm. that are are sneaking in alcohol and I mean not at Duke, but you know, <laughs> yeah, no, typically no, no. Duke's probably typically. the Duke. Duke, Duke like, they all they all sick. think this is sweet. Everyone there thinks this is sweet. on the on the front the front page. So that that's all the trash talk, and then on the front page they have their chants and, and cheering info and all that. Uh, at the top it says Coach K has requested we don't do the high blank you suck cheer during player intros. So so please don't do that. And then it also says uh, when Coach K walks into Cameron, bow down to the goat with both arms. It literally says. Dude, that have you that. seen the video? I'll I'll send you the video. They have a little video where they teach you how to bow down to Coach K as he walks in. It's amazing. <laughs> Jaden Gardner. Ripped him to shreds, and they said, "Born in Durham, welcome home, Jaden. Sorry we didn't give you an offer." <laughs> that he killed. Him. There was another I one. Love this. Was, what, what, so wasn't good. there another one that was like someone was trying to recruit um, Breakfield, right? Like someone, I think it was like maybe it was, yeah, that was Beekman. That was, that Beekman. was Beekman. That's right. It yeah. was like tried to recruit Breakfield to Virginia and failed. It's like oh, six. So I got him. <laughs> these are all terrible. That's my PSA. Do not do these. All of your fellow uh, students, not at Duke, as you said, but like if you know, I'm sure, I'm sure Ohio State makes these. I, I and, I'm kidding. There's probably a few Duke fans. To the Ohio State students that make these, please stop. All the other Ohio State <laughs> students think you're lame. If they think you're a loser. Everyone that sees these is going to dunk on Ohio State when when they they get put out. Like these are not interesting. The players on the other team are not rattled by these. Please stop. Do better. That's my PS. Or you know, you're gonna they're gonna continue to make these, but I I really wish they wouldn't. Are they supposed to chant these things? I don't I don't understand it, Jim. Like it's 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 just like information for you to have as a I, I don't You really... tweet links to your Instagram photos? I mean that could be a chant. I think it's I think it's like guys that you like You tweet links <laughs> to your Instagram. I think it's just guys that want to do uh like sports journalism or something and this is their, you know, this is their take on like a Simmons yeah. article from like 03. <laughs> yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Yes. Or they're just yes. like Does Dicky V know about this? <laughs> you know it is. This is worse than the profanity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jim. Hey there, thanks for watching Titus and Tate. For the full friend of the program experience, subscribe right below and come join us for all things college basketball. The action is heating up. Come join Titus and Tate.